This is me using water vapor to play an instrument made of a dozen squawking rubber chickens to the delight of the ninja kids. And it sounds almost as crazy as the noises the ninja kids made after the next experiment. <laughs> Howdy campers and welcome back to your least boring summer ever. At Camp Crunch Labs, I'm Mark Rober, and this is week nine of our supercharged summer camp experience. We are 75% of the way through the summer, and you can tell because we've blown out 75% of our windows. Now, of course, I signed this last week in the live stream, but right now, you should be working on your Rube Goldberg machine, which is just some kind of cool chain reaction that'll blow my mind. And we've got a few early submissions, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's bedtime. Okay. Let's go. Her car slaps. <clears throat> Boom. Okay, Alex, time to clean up. Yo, I love your videos. No, I did it! I made this Rube Goldberg machine to make my bed for me. Easy solution to walking across the room and getting your toes. Back up, are you hungry? Thank you. Now don't worry, you have all the way until the end of day Tuesday to work with your parents to get your video submitted to campcrunchlabs.com where I will see it and the best submission of the summer gets this platinum ticket right here to come out here to Crunch Labs where we're gonna destroy this backyard using methods that I'm pretty sure are illegal in most parts of this country. But as a quick reminder, camp is two parts. So you got these mega experiment videos and the super challenges that you do. But part two is getting these super cool Crunch Labs build box toys delivered to your porch every week where I teach you to think like an engineer. So if all that sounds cool, work with your parents to visit campcrunchlabs.com so you can learn more. And with that, let's get right to this week's mega experiment. But first, let's find out who our special guest is. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, I'm Dude, here. <laughs> what? The oh. Ninja Kids. This We're... is like a four for one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, there's five of you guys, right? Where's Kaysen? I'm not sure. Kaysen? Oh, I'm up here. Oh, Kaysen. Oh, all right. Let's head over to the table for some science. Yeah. Disassemble. This is like Voltron. Ooh. Anyone have any idea what we're gonna do? <laughs> no idea. I have no. no. There's popcorn though. There is popcorn. This is melted ice cream. There's some pennies, some flowers, a teapot, some racquetballs. Now do you know what we're doing? Nope. No, no. no. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, we do things at Crunch Labs that you can't do at home. Safety is really important. So let's gear up and get right to today's mega experiment. Now today, the theme is something called liquid nitrogen. You guys know what that is? It's just super, super cold. cold. It is super very, cold. very cold. Nitrogen is like in the air we breathe. Like 80% of the atmosphere is nitrogen, but it's the gas form. When you get really cold, it turns liquid. Like negative 300 degrees liquid. So I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna pour it into this bowl. Oh man. Cool. What happens if you touch it? You don't want to touch it. <laughs> it feels painfully cold. And what you notice is it almost looks like it's boiling, right? That's because it is boiling. Boiling just means you're changing from liquid to gas. In fact, we've got a little teapot here, right? So if I take some of this and I pour it in here and then I put this on. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's like whistling like a boiling teapot, right? Yeah. You can add some hot water. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. That immediately turns it into like fog, right? You can maybe even take our vortex cannon. Oh, oh. oh that was so, so cool. This episode is in honor of the Crunch Labs Build Box Vortex Cannon. I got That's like a perfect ring. Sure. That's so cool. Of course, that's the second part of Crunch Labs is the really fun Build Box toys that come to your house every week. All right, I need a volunteer. Someone needs to blow this up. I got it. Got a good set of lungs there. Okay, now I need a hypothesis. What do you guys think might happen when we put this balloon in here? I think it'll pop. It's gonna pop. pop. I think it's gonna like, or yeah, maybe pop. freeze, get hard. Okay, these are all good hypotheses. Let's find out. 
Right it now. hasn't popped yet. Hasn't popped yet? What's it's happening shrinking. instead? Whoa. It's getting it's shrinking. Why is Whoa. it shrinking, I wonder? Have you guys ever had a jar that's really hard to open at home? Yes. You run it under hot water, and now you can open it, right? That's because as things get hot, they expand. And then the opposite of that is as they get cold, they shrink and get smaller. So the gas in this balloon is getting colder and colder. You can hear the balloon getting brittle, but watch this. See that liquid in there? Yo. That's the liquid carbon dioxide in your breath. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Literally, what? that was in your breath. Now as it heats what? up, the balloon's getting bigger, back to its normal shape. Listen to that. Just unfreezes. ASMR balloon video. <laughs> <laughs> and then the liquid from your breath now, where did it go? Back in there. It's still in there, it's just now it's a gas form again. Now there's no more liquid? Isn't that wild? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, look, we actually got ice in here. The liquid nitrogen is going to evaporate quickly as I pour it out, and it's going to look really cool. Ready? Whoa. So you kind of go on the grass. Oh. So many fun things you can do with liquid nitrogen. I need another volunteer. This hand came up fastest. Yay. I want you to prove these are normal flowers. Just squish that flower. What's it yep. feel like? Feels like a flower. Feels like a flower, that makes sense. Okay, I'm putting these flowers in here. We saw they were just normal and flowery before. Okay, now just touch that rose. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Like Isn't glass. that wild? Yeah. It's like a glass Dude. flower, right? Oh, that's oh. cold. The bunch oh. is gonna be really cool. Yo. Three, two, one. Oh, Whoa. Ah. All right. Yo, you got confetti flowers. Yeah, can't use those for Mother's Day. Again, we got a normal racquetball here, right? Nothing fancy. Just a bouncy racquetball. Just a bouncy old racquetball. Okay, at this point, I bet you guys are catching on what might happen here. I think it's going to break. I'm going to need you guys to step back, like all, all the way right. back by the treehouse. Oh, dude. I think I know what's going to happen now. That's when yeah. you know it's a good one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, here's a clue. Oh. That sounds different, right? Sounds like a laugh. Metal ball. Okay, it's gonna here explode. Go. Oh. oh! Heck yeah! No. Just shattered. Obviously, if you hammer a rubber ball, it just does that. If I put it in here, listen yeah. to that. It's interesting, even sound gives you clues to like material properties, right? Like, yeah. yeah. That sounds very brittle. Okay, next up, okay, we have two pennies here, and we're gonna observe it's a little experiment. We're gonna let these pennies get cold for a second. Here's the first one. Three, two, one. Okay, I hit this one, and you'll notice it didn't explode. It just kind of like dented in, right? Yeah. Now watch this next penny. One, two, three. This Whoa. penny shattered. Yo. What the? Before 1982, that's what this penny was. It was just pure copper. Now, copper is more ductile, meaning it's kind of squishier. But then afterwards, to save money, from 1983 on, all of these pennies have zinc in them, which gets more brittle. This is like a way to investigate the material properties, making them both cold enough. They behave differently, because this one has the brittle zinc in it. It's almost glass-like, right? Yeah. So when you're trying to investigate the material properties of something, you know, you can listen to it, you can weigh it, you can try and like bend it. And all those things gives you clues to what's inside. Or hit it with a hammer. Or even better, hit it with a hammer. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna switch spots with you guys for the most delicious part. This right here is melted ice cream. So I want you to pull some up in the syringe like this, and then you bring it over the liquid nitrogen, Whoa. and you just dab it in. And what do you think we're making? Dippin' Knots. Dippin' Knots, hashtag not no sponsored. Way. Okay, so you guys get a syringe, and basically do what I do. This is the ice cream of the future. <laughs> this is actually so cool. Just wait till you see how it tastes. It freezes so fast. Yeah, isn't it wild? Dig in, folks. Remember, when you put it in, just like move it all around your mouth, work it around in your tongue. It's kind of cold. Here we go. <laughs> How's it taste? It's so 
Yummy. It's cold. It's cold. You ever had warm ice cream, Kason? Yeah, that's it's true. It's not as good. <laughs> it really does stick to your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like trying to move it and I can't. <laughs> that's good. Got one final demo here. We get more food? It's camp food right here. Crunchy oh, popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> Yum. I'm just kind of scooping it all around. You grab it, I shake it off, I put it in your hand. Oh, you go right away. Whoa. Oh, oh my, man. yo. That's awesome. Dude. Yeah, boom. Just put it right in. Whoa. <laughs> <Free fire. laughs> yeah. I was trying to make a smoke ring. Here I don't go. know how. <laughs> Free fire. Yeah, you're like a dragon. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. How do you do that? Oh, that's no. crazy. Let's see if Paxton can do it. No, it's not working. <laughs> it's coming out of your, your mouth. mouth. Okay. Oh, that's so that's just, yeah, it's so satisfying. Every time, right? All right, we got two more experiments. <laughs> do you guys know what this is? Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes I do. I <laughs> so what happens if you were to, I don't want to be crass, but cut the head off 12 of these and stick them on a pipe that has liquid nitrogen down here and hot water right here connected in a tube. Well, that's going to create a lot of basically water vapor, right? And the thing that makes these go <laughs> is like, flowing air. So hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, we should have a lot of flowing air and just like a chorus of rubber chickens singing for us. Oh no. Beautiful song. You ready? Here we, here we go. go. Okay, here we go. This is science, folks. That's all. Just cold, hard science. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I change this valve... They're harmonizing. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, of course, this was Mark's idea. The rubber chicken chorus. Woo! All right, wow. we've got one more experiment. I need each of you to stand kind of back in a row, all five spread out over the backyard. Utilize the magic, the Camp Crunch Lab snap. Whoa! Whoa. Here you go. What is nice. this? All right. Okay. We got some lab coats. We've got liquid nitrogen in these black trash cans. We've got hot water in these red pails. We're gonna dump them in real quick. We're gonna make like an instantaneous indoor cloud. In fact, we're gonna make five of them. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's so do ready. this. All right. Pick up your red buckets. All right. One foot in front. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yo! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It hit me in the face! That was my crazy! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! What just happened? Yes, that was, look at this! That was I did not awesome. expect it to be like that. Look at this that was nuts, dude! Look, the fire is like Ready? barely poking through. Yeah. What do you guys think? That, that was, was so crazy. That was insane! It I did so quick, not right? think yeah. it was gonna yeah. be like that. that I was like, like looking over me. it. And... Well done, everyone. We got some good science tackle today. Go. Now, Kason, it's way past your bedtime as a camper. Get the heck back up to your treehouse. You guys nice. are incredible. Thank you so much for coming out. All right. Okay. Yeah. See you, Mark. Do some yeah. cool stuff. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was too cool. All right, campers. Well, that's it for this week. So make sure you're working on your videos of your Rube Goldberg submissions. Work with your parents. Upload it to CampCrunchLabs.com. Of course, we're working on your weekly build box. We'll get you next week right here at Camp Crunch Labs. Ooh, this could be cool, actually. Shika pa. Aw, uh, do something cooler. <sighs> That'll do. <laughs>